You've been dating your girlfriend for almost two years now. You often stay late over the summer and on weekends, and arrive home long after the rest of your family go to sleep. Every night, you drive the deserted rural roads back home from a pleasant evening at her house. But you become overwhelmed by the fears that you will arrive home to find your family dead in their beds. Each night you peek into your sister's room and see she's fine and hear the reassuring rumble of your father's snore as you pass your parents' door. You chuckle at your silly worries and drift off to sleep. Finally, one morning, you decide to tell your mother about your late night fears and miss some jovial conversation for a nice laugh. As you tell her, a concerned look comes over her face. She sweeps the hair away from her face as she says, Oh honey, you know we were all shot almost two years ago. You scream as you see the gaping bullet hole in her forehead. Did you ever see one of them videos where you're asked to look for something or follow a specific thing throughout the video? Then, in the end, they reveal to you that as you're watching, something large and intrusive moved around in plain sight, and you never even noticed it. It's frightening how often that happens. Like how I just moved from the doorway into your room as you're listening to this. In Berlin, after World War II, money was short, supplies were tight, and it seemed like everyone was hungry. At that time, people were telling the tale of a young woman who saw a blind man picking his way through a crowd. The two started to talk. The man asked her for a favour. Could she deliver the letter to the address on the envelope? Well, it was on her way home, so she agreed. She started out to deliver the message. And when she turned around to see if there was anything else the blind man needed, she spotted him hurrying through the crowd without his smoked glasses or his white cane. She was, naturally, suspicious, so she went to the police. When the police paid a visit to the address on the envelope, they made a gruesome discovery. Three butchers had been harvesting human flesh and selling it to the starving people. And what was in the envelope the man gave to the woman? A note, saying simply, this is the last one I'm sending you today.